Alright guys, welcome back to the Cricket Captain save of the 2020 Cricket Captain with South Africa. Uh, this is a test mode save as the first two episodes were focused on the West Indies tour which we won um, the second game. We in fact lost the first game so it was a drawn series. I have forwarded a bit of time here so we're now at the Sri Lankan series which is going to cap off the first home series of the save. Um, so basically the team I am going to go with is, or the squad I should say for the first test, is we're going to basically stick with the same squad as we did in the final test except I've made one change. Uh, Malan will stay in, he was uh, pretty good in his first series, he made, he's averaging, averaging 62, he has a, a high score of 216 which he got in the second test. We also have Markram who will stay in, Awagar, Van Dusen, Duplessis who I said I would drop but I'm going to give him one more home uh, series to see if he can sort of maintain his faith otherwise he will probably be getting axed quite soon because he has been very disappointing I must add. Hamza we're going to um, probably give a go, he has been playing well in the Domestic League, he's averaging 50 uh, with a high score of 202. We have a look here, he's Domestic League, or uh, yeah, that's his Domestic um, Comp. So he's got 101 not out, 92. So all pretty solid scores in his last seven innings for Domestic Leagues. Um, De Kock obviously is going, staying in, his average went up to 40, so that was quite good. Uh, we've also got the same sort of bowling attack. Ngidi should come back from injury. He obviously would because it is past, uh, It's we're, we're now in January and that test series was in July. I have brought in though this bloke here, uh, Bayer's Swain Paul, Paul uh, to the squad. He's a 22 year old left, uh, left arm batsman um, and a right arm fast bowler. He has a bowling average of 18 and he's only 22. He has taken 71 wickets. So I'm probably going to give him a go in this series to be fair. Just because I am quite prom I am quite I, um, pleased with what I'm seeing here, especially as a young player. That is um, quite phenomenal stats, I must add. Um, but yeah, if we have a look at the Test Championship, we're sitting in dead last. Um, that is because we have not played any tests since that July test. And we started off, like, obviously I inherited the, the team. But South Africa have been a rabble in Test cricket for the last few years, so um, they've had seven losses and only two wins. I don't know whether that series that I played in was a win against the West Indies, like as a Test Championship, but we still have three series to go. Obviously, we're not going to get anywhere near the top two, but look, as long as we can get one or two victories um, in series that are Test Championship quality, then I will be quite pleased. Um, if we have a look, uh, just some things here. New Zealand won the T20 World Cup. Um, before I get into our first game, I was going to show off the T20 World Cup if I can. Um, we apparently, because I'm not controlling the T20 squad, we got knocked out in the semi final against New Zealand. So. Um, uh, again, um, I don't really like 2020 formats in this game because I find it hard to juggle um, the run rates. Um, World Cup. So New Zealand beat India in the World Cup final. Rahul made 107. India posted a really good total of 205. Um, if we have a look here, Nisham... Took one wicket, sat in a bold well, two wickets for 38, and Henry, two for 44. But unfortunately, um, it, for India's sake, New Zealand played extremely well. They started off quite poorly. They were actually two for four. And to recover to make five for 206 and win the World Cup is, is an outstanding effort. As we see there, Bumrah, Chanel, uh, Shahal, and oh, Darwin got a ball. I don't know why, but... Uh, yeah, um, New Zealand have a very good uh, T20 squad, so it is quite plausible that they could win the T20 World Cup. 
We've currently dropped to ranking four in the world. As I said, um, that's probably where we are ranked, probably four or five currently. Um, when I finished my last uh, episode, we were ranked two. But, yeah, we'll see. Ooh, okay, so it's going to be a bit overcast in the first day, and there's going to be some slight overcast towards the end of the fourth day, or at the start of the fourth day, I should add, which makes me want to believe that it's going to be a fast wicket, which means... I'm going to actually bring in a extra bowler here. Because um, Keshav Maharaj can bat. Uh, he's, I know his average is only 16, but he's he bats well enough for an all-rounder, in my opinion, because if you look at his last couple of scores, we're going to actually draft in another bowler. Um, I don't know why Alga's batting at 6, but... Um, I'm actually going to take Markram out of the side, and the reasoning I'm doing that is because his form hasn't been very good, because um, in that series against uh, West Indies, he did not, he, I think he top scored once, but saying that he was very inconsistent, he was throwing his wicket away, so we will see how this goes, and again, if we do flop, I'll bring him back in next test. We're going to have a very deep bowling lineup. I'll tell you that now. We're going to have five bowlers. Um, this could prove to be really good or extremely bad. But I'm going to back our bowlers in. Um, we will keep... Because I want to keep Hawking in. Because he was nearly man of the match last test. I probably could have brought the all-rounder in pop gitter. But, you know. Five bowlers. Let's see how we go. As I said, Duplessis will still be captain for this game, and he will be as captain until we take him out of the side. We won the toss, which means it is overcast. We're going to put Sri Lanka in. We are not going to be batting in an overcast wicket. Um, they, the reasoning why is because I've stacked my bowlers. I don't want to be batting in an overcast condition if I'm relying on faster, if I'm having only six batsmen. So we look here, uh, Sri Lanka are opening the innings. They have Dick Waller batting at three. That's quite high. I thought he bats lower than that. And looks like Matthews is back in their test side. Uh, they got Mendes. Are they the same Mendes? Oh. Well, they, I think they must be brothers. Um, either that or it's a quite co coincidental that they both have the same name. And I believe uh, Karut Narine is the captain still, because uh, Matthews got sacked as captain from memory. Well, then Chandamal was sacked as well. Uh, Chandamal's not even in their side. Okay, so as we open up the day, Ingidi is going to open the bowling with Rabara. No wickets as of yet. We're going to up the aggression just a little bit. Here we go. Rabada to Karutnarain, and he catch. gets the wicket. Uh, Hamza with the catch. They are one for seven. Brilliant start to the um, test so far for us. Can we get another quick wicket? Four overs in for Rabada. We're going to take him out. We're going to put on Hawken. Hopefully Hawken can get a wicket. And actually bowl a bit of bounce to him. To Nisanka. Well, Hawking comes into Dick Waller in his second ball. He's out. Uh, he's out for, for 16. Um, so a brilliant bowling change there. Hawking comes in and gets the wicket. He's going to get another wicket. Hawking comes what in and gets the ex-captain Angelo Matthews out. And he's got figures of two wickets, no runs. I uh, wonder if he can end that over on a maiden. And he does. Oh, he's going to have phenomenal figures. We'll take Ingidi out of the attack. And we're going to bring on the debutant, Swainy or Swain Pole. I, sorry if I butcher that name, but um, that's what I think it's pronounced as. Tell you what, Hawkins turning out to be quite a, uh, a gem. I know he's 31 or 32, but he's actually be, being a really good bowler we've picked up. So Hawken uh, has come in and he's doing a really good job. And he comes he's in again really to the silver. That and that's a four. Um, got a 
should have had, should have been wickets only. Fortunately, there was a little bit of a crash there, where you'll probably notice that the um, that you'll see I have two separate recordings from when I start. From you'll see that there's a change in my voice. Probably that is because for some reason cricket captain decided to crash, and I don't like that at all. Um, I've had a few crashes so far with cricket captain and. Uh, I haven't been very well, impressed with that. Come that. As Rabada comes in and he gets the silver out, a fantastic job. Lunch day one, we have Sri Lanka at four for 100. So Sri Lanka did recover a little bit. Um, we did leak some runs. But Ngidi comes in Good to catch. Nisanka and he gets the opener out for 55. And Sri Lanka are now in a world of trouble, five for 100. See if Maharaj hasn't even batted yet. Thought the game was going to crash again there. I mean, hasn't even bowled yet. Let's bring Maharaj on now. Rabada comes oh, into Mendes and he's there. bowled him. Rabada gets a third wicket. Rabada oh, comes in as appealing. well and he gets Danajana. He's out. Dan Yaja, I think his name is. Out for one. Four wickets to Rabada. Sri Lanka, seven for 123. Rabada comes in again. Bold him. A fantastic display. He's on a hat trick. Can he get it? Oh, and he didn't what get it, but he's going to get another wicket in the same over. And Sri Lanka, nine for 127. They are in a world of trouble. Ma Maharaj will come in to Mendes and he should wrap That's up the innings. Really and he sharp. does. All out for 131, a fantastic decision to put Sri Lanka in and bowl first. Rabada taking 6 for 42, a fantastic bowling display. Also, Hawken 2 for 23 with 3 maidens was another great display as well. Swain Pole did not get a wicket, but he did bowl respectively. And Ngidi bowled very clean, 1 for 26. And Maharaj, 1 for 11. On the Sri Lankan side, we had Nisanka top score with 55, and then De Silva with 18. A very, very poor performance by Sri Lanka, but it was probably very difficult bowling um, batting conditions in that scenario. Same thing as always, we will turn the highlights off because um, it's just how what I do. Um, I find it easier to score runs for some reason when I have the highlights off. Uh, there'll be a point though if I'm probably, you know, if players are getting near hundreds, I'll put them on highlights, but at the moment we will keep highlights off. Started off quite strong here. We are uh, six overs in, or seven overs in, 25 runs. Alga has started off quite strong, which is surprising because he's not a very aggressive batsman. And yeah, we're just going to be hoping Sri Lanka bowl some quick, um, some spinners, so Milan can come in and attack. End of the third or the second session, and we are none for 45. So we got a 50 run partnership, a very good, uh, respectable partnership, I must add. Alga goes for 30, which was unfortunate, but it has still been, it's still very cloudy, so it is going to be a little bit harder to um, consistently score at a solid pace. Sri Lanka don't look like they have any spinners because they're bowling a lot of quick bowlers. What's Dan Ranjo? Is he a spinner? Okay, he's the spinner. Once he bowls, I'll put Milan up to fully attack, to pretty much attack him because Milan, here we go, Milan loves spinners. So we'll keep that aggression probably there. Um, Van Dusen also likes spin bowling, so we will put his aggression sort of there as well. He puts, he brings up another 50, Milan, a fantastic performance by uh, a third, or in his third test. End of day one, and we are one for 137. To survive that day, 
with only one wicket is very, very good. Um, considering what Sri Lanka made, I'm very impressed. Let's hope that Milan can get a hundred. And he's done it. He's got a hundred and seven. Fantastic performance from Milan. That is another test century. We have a new user record. Milan and Van Dusen 141 at Johannesburg. And that'll be my record because it's my only save on Cricket Captain. Hopefully Van Dusen can get his first test 100 because I think he does not have a 100. He has a 98. Let's hope that Van Dusen can become the second batsman in this innings to get a 100. Meanwhile, Marlon puts on 151. A fantastic performance. He ended his second test with a double century. Can he, in his third test, get a double century? Sri Lanka's taking the new ball. We are one for 281. We are cruising here. Might up the aggression just a little bit. Here he goes. And Van Dusen goes out in the 90s again. He cannot break through and get his first test century. It's a shame, but a fantastic partnership between him and Milan. As Milan goes in, we're going to actually watch um, medium and see if he can get his second double century. Oh dear, that was sloppy. Plays and misses there, although that's leg block. That'll be buys for four. Here we go, Milan. And that should Pure be timing. it. Uh, or is that, that is it. That's and his that double is century. He is on 201. Fantastic performance in his third test to get his second double century. And he shortly goes out to 202. But a fantastic performance, no doubt. 3 for 356. Because it's day two, I'm going to try and pile on as many runs as possible. Um, there's no point to declare now. I mean, I could back my bowlers in, but saying that, it, you know, it's only day two. It's it, If it was day three, then maybe I would declare, but it's only day two. Too much, um, you know, in cricket, anything can sort of happen. They, Sri Lanka could come out and make 400 in their second innings. I mean, they're going to have to make, the, the Sri Lanka is going to have to make 600, or they're going to have to, there's, there's pretty much no way Sri Lanka could win this if um, we get a lead of 400. They'd effectively have to draw the game because um, by the time they would get to a 400 run lead, then it would be the end of the, um, it would be effectively a draw. In, in saying that, while I've been talking, Duplessis is on 78. I do hope he can get 100. And Zubai Hamza, he is on 63, which is his highest score. And I know that the um, the hype around him is pretty good. But Duplessis falls for 83 and honest innings. But he did not push on for 100. We are all getting starts here. You look at all the batsmen. Algar even had a start. He was 30 off 63 balls. Hamza makes 71. He can't get to that 100. So he, he, we might lose some wickets here because Maharaj is in. Now we're down to the bowlers. So I'm going to just put on De Kock to hold strike. Just score cheap runs. We have a 400 run lead. Um, I'm not expecting this to be a loss. I mean, in fact, I'd be very disappointed if we somehow lost this test. But I will declare if they don't get us out at the end of the second session of day three. Sri Lanka have bowled. Um, I'll look at, they've bowled 172 overs. Their bowlers are going to be absolutely spent. So Swinepool hanging around in his first test. Can the cock get 100? Can he get 100? Can he? Oh, and he gets 100, 102, but he's running out. Um, we're going to declare there. I mean, we could go probably go a bit more, but... 645 
for eighth declared. That is, there's no way Sri Lanka are going to win this test. We should be able to wrap this up in the second innings. Oh, for terrific. Sri Lanka. Caught at slip. Nisanka goes out for Rabata. To Rabata. One for 48. Let's bring in Swain Hall again. Can he get his first test wicket? And Hall can as well come back into the attack. Hawken to Dick Better. Waller, caught behind for 42, 92 for, or 98 for 2. Hawken to Matthews, Out. caught behind. We'll bring in Maharaj, and then we will bring in Rabada. Rabada again Massive gets shot. another wicket. So far, he has 8 wickets for the, the total test. Can he get a 10 wicket? test um, performance so Maharaj to Mendez and it should Hold be him. 5 for 162 and it is bold for 32 the captain Karutna Ryan is hanging around at 75 not out and we will take Rabada off for Ingidi To their credit, though, they are sort of hanging around a bit. They're not going to win, but they are sort of making it a little bit difficult to get them out. And, but I am playing a little bit more lax free, I guess, just because of that big total. And we should get the wickets in the end. It's going to be pretty hard for them to bat this out. So we might actually have to bat again. We will take the new ball. Um... Hopefully bring in Rabada, and we do, and Hawken. Rabada to Ow. Mendez, and he's bowled him for 40. Karutna Ryan has a, is on 121. Can we get another wicket? We'll just put it on autoplay for a bit. T day four. Will we get them out? Or will we have to bat again? Rabada oh. comes in and he gets the off spinner out, Danjanya. 7 for 286. They need 20 more runs for us to bat again. And we're going to have to bat again, no doubt. 10 more runs. Can they get it? Ingidi comes oh. in. Ingidi as Big well. Appeal. We're going to need, they still need 10 runs. Karutna Ryan, can he carry the bat at 151? But I don't think it'll matter anyway, because we are going to get them out and we will not be following on. Uh, on we will not be so um, no batting, being forced to, to bat next. again. A amazing performance. I must give credit due to Karutna Ryan. He carried the bat, 317 balls, 151 not out. A fantastic performance by the Sri Lankan captain. However, n that first innings really crippled Sri Lanka. And that first innings where we were able to, st um, to get through the first day of the overcast conditions and post a mammoth total of 8 for 645. That was pretty much the game all over. Milan top scored with 202. Uh, we also had Van Dusen 90, uh, Hamza 71, uh, De Kock 102. All these people in the top six made uh, starts. Unfortunately, they could not get, not all of them could get solo or hundreds. If we look at the partnerships, uh, Van Dusen and Milan put on 262. And then Hamza and Duplessis put on 144. If we look at Sri Lanka um, in their second innings, unfortunately, they didn't have a partnership break 100, but they did have Karutnarain and Dikwala get to 96, and they had Karutnarain and Mendes get to 92. So that pretty much is the end of this episode. A fantastic performance. Milan, well-deserved man of the match. Oh, and Rabada takes 10 wicket figures in the total test. But um, I'm glad we got the win there. 
we lost the last series to Sri Lanka from memory. I think they lost them last year in real life. Um, but we beat them by an innings and 210 runs. So the next test match will be against Sri Lanka, and we will be seeing you then. And next time, Mega Kaza 1, out.